Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in the tap changer series in transformer, today we are going to learn about power circuit wiring for on-load tap changers. So friends, uh, on our channel, we have number of videos about different kinds of testing, wiring, and latest the series about the onload and offload tap changes so you can get the link of all the videos in the description box below do check them out and let's get started with today's video so uh, up till now in this series we have already discussed why we need tap changes to maintain the output of the whole voltage of the transformer and uh, we also know the importance of rated voltage of the transformer and then uh, we have seen the principle on which the tech changes work okay and uh, we know two types of tech changes on load and offload so we have already covered the offload tech changes so this is how the basic construction is you can also get the entire video in description box so this is the basic connection okay and this is how the rotation occurs and this is how the tap change occurs okay So for offload tap changes, we have to turn off the transformer first. We have to take the shutdown of the transformer to tap, change the tapping. Okay. And uh, uh, for onload tap changes, we do not have to do that. So now let us quickly see a recap for onload tap changer. So this is how the construction of onload tap changer is okay so uh, in this kind of construction we can change the tapping without turning off the transformer and this is how the basic winding will look like so this is the moment for all of the changes So today we are going to learn about tap ch changer control. So first one is the onload tap changer that is located on the transformer itself. And the second is the RTCC that is remote tap changer control. Okay. So let us uh, discuss it further. So this is how the complete RTCC panel looks like and let us understand this in detail. So this is the RTCC panel and this is the OLTC that is located on the transformer first we will see the RTCC panel this is the OLTC supply on LED okay whenever the OLTC supply is on this will be indicated if the supply is off you can get this LED then there is step charger uh, changer out of step that means when you are trying to change the tap position say it is you are trying to change from 1 to 2 okay but in the process it is not getting changed or it is stuck somehow then this kind of led will be appearing on the panel next is the tap charger in progress so whenever the tap changing is in progress during that period you will have this led glowing okay next one is the alarm and the annunciator so on this you can get oltc supply fail okay or tap changer is out of step that kind of annunciators you can uh, get on this annunciator next is the tap position indicator this is very important so it indicates on what is the tap position of the transformer in the yard okay so uh, you can see over here also you can see two buttons for up and down that is to increase the tap position or to decrease the tap position so using these two buttons you can change the tapping in the transformer right next is this is the heater switch okay so you can turn on and turn off heater using this switch then this is a sequence selector switch so it is having master or follower option or independent so we will be discussing in more in detail about this switch in the video further but uh, just to describe the working of this switch now 
whenever we are changing the tap in the transformer if we are having multiple transformers in the switch yard then this whenever the selector switch is uh, selecting master position okay so what happens is uh, this becomes the master and master tap changer and other transformers will follow the tap changing so if you are changing tap in this transformer the follow transformers will also change its tap positions okay so that is some just basic about this then there is a control supply switch okay on and off css so this is the main supply switch through which we will be providing supply through the oltc next you can see these two buttons raise and lower so these are the push buttons and pressing these buttons we can raise the tap position or if you want to lower the tap position you can press this button also there is a provision for emergency button over here if we are in some kind of emergency or if you are stuck in between some position this is not working or any other problem then we can always press the emergency button next is the announcer router for announcer so it will uh, provide some sound and you can uh, know that there is some kind of announcation okay and over here as i told you this is the oltc inside the transformer so it has uh, this kind of mechanism a motor is a basic thing which rotates this thing uh, the mechanism over here and because of that you can this is just an indication uh, about what is the tap position so uh, as i have discussed in the previous video about the arm construction of this on load tap changer we have seen there is two arms okay and then there is this resistance which will uh, reduce the charging current flowing inside this arm okay and due to this there are, there is no sparking when the uh, tap changing process is, is occurring okay so this is the actual oltc tap changer okay uh, now uh, this are different tapping positions that are taken out from the winding you can see over here okay this and these are the arms which will be rotating these arms are rotating based on this road if this road is rotating then because of that this arms will be moving and it will make contacts as the tapping positions are changed so we will be seeing that in detail okay and again this is a closer view to the mechanism part a motor which will rotating this uh, rod and then there are some camshafts mechanism and which in turn will be changing the tapping positions so now let us see how this works see uh, over here you will be able to see the changing in the position of the taps See, it is rotating the arms are rotating and the tap is changed right so you can see this moving okay so this is the movement because of this road over here as the position of the road will change so will the position of the arms and we can change the tap positions like this okay now we will see over here how the tap positions because the motor is rotating this arm because of the mechanism the tap position will change okay from 6 to it is now reducing to position 5 okay okay so now let us understand in detail how the mechanism for the oltc is operating so we know that this is a motor over here this is rotating this mechanism so this is the motor we have and uh, this motor is rotating in both directions because we want to ra raise the tapping and we also want to lower the tapping so in one direction the tapping will be raised and in other direction the tapping will be lowered so this motor will require a three-phase supply first 
we are giving a three phase supply and as i discussed that it is going to rotate in both the directions so we are having two contactors over here so M mrc right and mrc left is the name of two contactors now you can see how the connections are made is if the three phase supply is given as ryb then it will be rotating in one direction but if we interchange the supply say if we interchange r and y phase then the motor will start rotating in the opposite direction okay so this is the logic that we are using for uh, rotating this motor in one direction and uh, changing in the phase sequence for another okay so after this contractor uh, this is mrc motor reversing contractor for racer and lower so these are the two contactors okay physically it looks like this next we are having mpr that is motor protection relay so motor protection relay is used to protect if there is any issue inside the motor so this motor protection relay is the uh, main protection for this entire power circuit so this is it motor protection relay next we are having ssp what does the ssp does is is this a single phase preventer so this requires a three phase whenever there is a single phase or there is a phase failure due to any reason it and it is not getting proper phase supply then this ssp will operate and it will not allow further operation in the power circuit and so this circuit will not operate so ssp is for single phase protection okay to avoid any kind of single phase or phase sequence problem is if there is occurring right so this is the ssp single phase preventer okay and this is the main supply switch css okay that is the main switch that will provide the three phase supply into the oltc panel so this is the css switch if it is on the power will be going inside and it is off the switch is off okay so this is the complete basic power circuit for the oltc okay now uh, let us see how it works so if it is in on condition right if the supply is on then seeing it uh, that supply is on and all the three phase are okay okay so single uh, this single phase preventer uh, will operate okay and the supply will now go to this motor protection relay okay so motor protection relay has operated and now the supply is going into the mrc if this mrc is operated if this mrc is operated in r that means it is moving in the right direction okay so this will be raising the tap okay so to raise the tap this contactor will be operated and if another contactor is operated this means it is moving in the left direction okay so this will lower the tap positions so this is the basic working condition okay and also uh, this uh, uh, motor protection relay uh, so this is there is a provision for this ssp to turn it on manually okay so if you can turn it on manually and this entire power circuit will be working in this way one after the other sequence okay so this is basic about power circuit on oltc and this mrc l and r these two contacts are operated from the control circuit of the tap changes okay so there is entire control circuit that is operating this two this right and uh, left uh, okay so this contactors get the command from the control circuit and we will be discussing about control circuit in the next video so this was about the power circuit for oltc uh, keep watching more for the control circuit in the next video Thank you.